couple paintings for you today, but it's really one. We're, we're gonna bring two of my favorite things together. A friend of mine who's with me today gave me the inspiration for this, but uh, as always, as you're joining, please let me know where you're, where you're watching from, your city, state, or country. Let me know where that is. Uh, I am in Sacramento, California, so not sure how many of you are from uh, Sacramento, but I am uh, from here. I know we always get some, some people who are locals who join us, but uh, as your, let's see, as your, um, as you guys start sharing in the chat as well, start sharing those on the screen. All right, so first shout out. All right, so we've got uh, Dreamface7. Uh, you already said one of my biggest fans. I appreciate it. Let's see, we have your uh, comment on the screen. So thank you, Dreamface, for watching this. Uh, Dreamface, you are from Atlanta, so welcome to you. And uh, Amy Buchanan, as always, welcome. You're always supporting, hopping on these live streams. Really, thank you to everyone who's always on here constantly. So uh, Josh Rios on YouTube. You're in Houston, Texas. Welcome. Uh, where, where are you from? Let's go wide real quick before we start. Where, where are you from? Sacramento, California. You're from Sacramento. All Sacramento, right. Sacramento, yeah. That's, this is my friend Brandon Wells. We'll, we'll introduce him later on. And, uh, and really the inspiration behind today's painting came from you. So we'll, we'll get to that. All right. Right back here. Uh, keep letting me know where you're watching this from. Also, uh, we are live streaming right now on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, where else are we? Periscope, Periscope Twitch. <laughs> I forgot. All right. Uh, all right. So Amy Buchanan is in Chicago. Welcome, Amy from Chicago. There we go. All right. Let me let me check uh, Instagram real quick. See where everyone's from. Uh, so again, the painting today. I would say it's two paintings, but really we're going to bring two things together as one. Um, shout out to everyone that's joining on Instagram as well. You know what? Now that we got this flowing, let's go ahead and start this live stream. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. My name is David Garibaldi. Oh, uh, you're watching. You know, we used to call this Art Life Live, but as we're going into this new world, this new era, I, I've got some really cool projects that, you know, I feel like we, we need to change the name to this. I feel like paint needs to be more involved with this, so we'll call this Paint Life Live from now on, at least until further notice. I know we have the Art Life up, but uh, anyways, today I've got a, a special painting for you. It's two of my favorite things. I don't know. We, you know, let's just do this. Let's introduce my good friend, Brandon Wells, who's with me today. Welcome, Brandon. Thank you, sir. Now, you see me do these. We won't give it away yet. Some of you may see this in the title, but you gave me this inspiration for this painting, and I thought it was brilliant. So I was like, let's do it on the live stream. Well, I appreciate that. It actually was inspired by a buddy of mine. This is for his 40th birthday. Okay. And his two favorite artists are uh, Warhol and Basquiat. Okay. So, oh, you just gave I'll, it away. Well, I'll give you it just away. Gave I'm it sorry. Away. But, he, but he already put it up there anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is true. This yeah. is true. All right. But um, so, you know, I'm not going to give away how uh, these and to combine them. Uh, you'll see yeah. that. But, but, but the inspiration came from my, uh, my buddy Dan. And uh, this is for his 40th birthday, and those are his two favorite artists. And I also know that you love Warhol and Basquiat. I, I, they're, they're, I think Warhol and Basquiat. If you were, if you were to add in Denny Dent to okay. that mix, that'd be you it. Know, Denny Dent is not as like a, a popular artist as those two. I mean, because those transcended pop culture. Right, right, right. Uh, Denny Dent did in his days, in his way. Okay. But um, you know, those, those two people. Those they top they mix pop art, urban art, and then they were friends. Right. On top of all that, right, which is yeah. incredible. Yeah. So I think it's cool. Uh, you want, we're gonna do some shout outs on Instagram. We'll, we'll go right back here. Uh, I see some people. So uh, I see someone from Indonesia. So again, let me know what city, state, or country you are tuning in from, and uh, we'll shout you out. I'm I'm enjoying a little tequila today. For tequila. 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 <laughs> You know, I'm just getting the creative juices flowing for this. So, shout out to uh, Pastia, Pastia in Indonesia. Tamara, 
is in Sacktown. Welcome to you. Uh, let's see, where else are you from? Ms. Peeps, sending a wave back to you, Ms. Peeps. Um, you country too, thank you for the love, appreciate it. Vintage Frames, Corey Shapiro, my brother. Shout out to you as well, sending love up to uh, Montreal, Canada. Uh, again, let me know where else you guys are tuning in from. All right, so let's go uh, to YouTube. So we're live streaming right now on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. Uh, we've got Steven in ba Basingstoke, England. So we're gonna throw that on the screen. Welcome. You know, we can make the, let's make it bigger since we don't have the frame anymore. Let's make the comments bigger, like, like, like right here. Like let's, there we go. All right, so shout out, there we go. So wait, let's, let's do a center. Let's put this, look at that, that's, that's, I'm like a superhero right now. I'm a budget superhero, full of paint. All right, uh, so Wade uh, said, have you painted any Marvel characters? And you're in Cleveland, Ohio, thanks for mentioning that. Uh, yes, I have, so I've done Iron Man. I've done, um, I know there's more. Oh, I've done Stan Lee, who's not a Marvel character. But a Marvel, but the Marvel creator. Yeah, Superman. Superman is DC. Hold on, hold on. We gotta go. Wait, wait. Go wide real quick. Hold on. Go wide. DC. Superman is DC Comics, bro. Oh, okay. Batman is DC. I got you. Jo so, bro, I, I am a nerd. I know you. At you know heart. all the Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Marvel and DC. Marvel you know? and DC. Yeah. Also, actually, when I was younger, yeah. I would, uh, I would draw images from like from. Image Comics. Ah, so Image okay. was a, a comic book brand, and I would uh, draw pictures of Spawn. Do you remember Spawn? Did you watch? Yeah. Were you into comic books? Yeah, at all? yeah a little bit. X Men and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we were growing up, I feel like baseball cards yeah. were huge, and it kind of yeah, brought so you into the baseball, baseball card shop. I had a baseball card collection. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have it? I actually do. Yeah. <laughs> Two and baseball I, and I actually, cards. Yeah, I found out a few of them were worth a little bit. Yeah. Shout out to uh, my friend uh, Blake out there. He's one of the, these artists for this uh, artist. Tops cards uh, series, ah, and okay. it is. I mean, obviously, you know, the cards alone are great, but I love the collaborations they're doing with right, artists right, right. With art. as yeah, well, absolutely. which is amazing. So, yeah. uh, so someone else asked, "Have I painted myself? Like my self portrait? Yes, I have. I have painted myself. What else would you guys want me to paint? Before we get into today's painting, I've got one painting for you today. I've got my friend Brandon Wells hanging out. Cheers to you. Thanks for." Thanks for having me. Th thank you Appreciate for being you, here. Brother. Thanks for the inspiration. Appreciate thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. And happy birthday, Dan. Happy uh, birthday. No, good. What else would you guys want me to, to paint? You let me know. Give me some suggestions in the chat. You know, may maybe we'll include it in a, a future live stream. I see some suggestions right now. So um, I see Deadpool. So, so Wade asked, I'd love to see you do Deadpool. That's a, not a bad suggestion. I think that'd be cool. Also, real quick shout out to Jerry Lynn in Boise, Idaho. So have you ever been to, I think it's called Sun Valley, Idaho. And feel free to correct me if it's not the name of it, but it is beautiful. It's like the been Aspen yet. of the West. I've heard it's beautiful. Have you been to Idaho? I haven't been. Idaho is, it's I like- I wanna go though, I've heard, I've heard it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, you know, think about like, uh, you know, Montana, Wyoming, like you, right. it's like God's country, you know, right, just right, right, right. untouched outdoors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Valley, Idaho is kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're gonna, you it's you beautiful. got me, you're get me. All right, yeah, and if you're from Idaho and Sun Valley is not there, just, just let me know. Uh, all right, let's go back to some shout outs real quick. Before we get into uh, the first painting, I'm gonna get into that in just a little bit. Uh, shout out to S Scout 2001 said I should paint uh, Loki and Sylvia. That's a, a Marvel reference there. So, also, um, Guzalita Bad said I should do Corella. I'm, I'm assuming it's Corella Deville. But you let me know. All right. You uh, Country also said Archangel. It's another suggestion for me to paint. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know in the chat. Uh, also, so Josh Rios suggested uh, X, also known as Existencion, but X. Dude, How do I make the All right, so Amy Buchanan said, she, I, she said, I grew up there. So Amy, is it just in Idaho or Sun Valley? Because Sun Valley 
is another level of Idaho. Uh, Fernando Valdez, good afternoon to you as well. Appreciate it. And, uh, and yes, okay, so Debbie Brooks said yes on low key. Is it low key or low chi? It's low key. All right. So Amy Buchanan says, love Idaho. Uh, hit me up, I'll tell you where to go catch fish all day. So here's the thing, I'm, you're probably like me. I'm a city boy. Like I love the city, I love going, like one of my most inspiring places that I've been to is Tokyo, it's super urban sprawling. But one of my favorite hobbies recently has been doing stand-up paddle boarding. Have you ever done that before? In Hawaii, yes. In Hawaii, that's tough. Yeah. Uh, in the ocean? Yeah, I mean, you have to, you have to get you know, 20, 30 feet out, you know, past those little waves rolling in. Yeah, but, yeah. or more like 20, 30 yards. Like, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 20, 30 Yeah, yards. you gotta get out there. Yeah, yeah. So this is my thing, and when I'm stand-up paddle boarding in oceans, which I just did recently in uh, Bodega Bay, there's a certain distance that you get out past the waves right. where it feels sketchy. Mm -hmm. So in the waves, you feel like it's fun. Right beyond the waves, you start feeling like food. <laughs> You know what Especially I mean? Especially in Bodega Bay. In Bodega that's, that, that's that triangle. Wait, what are you saying? Well, that's where the great whites are. Are you serious? That's where all. That's where the main spot. Is. Oh, There's three spots hell in the world. no! Three spots in the world. That's one of the main great white, great white feeding grounds. Are that's you for, kidding between me? Between Monterey, Bodega Bay, and Half Moon Bay, it's a feeding ground for great whites. And here I am. I'm feeling like food. Sam, that's why. You know what? My my spidey senses, which is DC Comics, uh, were probably heightened i felt like food <laughs> beyond the waves all right i'm gonna stop boring you guys with this let's get into the painting for today again thank you to everyone who's watching this live stream on instagram uh youtube facebook twitch and periscope we've got my friend brandon wells here uh is dan coming by oh does he know where the new studio is i invited him and gave him the address and he's with his wife okay and baby. all right all right that's right so we'll, i don't know well, maybe he'll watch this. Maybe you can send him the link to this to okay. watch live. Okay. But um, let's see if there's any other shout outs. So shout out to my mom, who's always on here as well. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. The third son. <laughs> uh, so, and real quick, we'll end with uh, Amy Buchanan says, be careful, you might see some wildlife. <laughs> Again, anywhere I'm going, where I start feeling like food, I'm out. All right, let's start this live stream. Let's paint. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, we're right now, we're live on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. Uh, as I create this painting behind you, you can see it's a blank black canvas. Uh, if you saw the title, it's a giveaway of what I'm doing, uh, but we're gonna put those all on one. And so as this is coming to life, feel free to ask your questions in the chat. Uh, also, if you have any comments, anything on your mind, use the chat. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this and let's paint. All right. All right, let's paint. So if you saw the title, you know what I'm painting, but I'm not gonna go about it the obvious way. I'm gonna have some fun with this. I know I get a lot of questions during these live streams about what paint I use. Let's uh, let's change it up today. Let's let's we'll see if your questions can uh, throw me off a little bit. So feel free to ask those in the chat. In the meantime, we'll just have fun with this. We're gonna take our time. We're in no rush today. Even this, you're probably like, why is why is he spending the extra time on this? dollar sign, this dollar sign, specifically inspired by Andy Warhol. And let's 
give it that red. So when I do paint these, I try my best to do everything within the minimal amount of brush strokes as possible. And I feel like that, it just helps get the looseness of the idea across. I, I think also I just don't have the patience for doing something that is, it's gonna take any, any, any more brush strokes. Let's actually, we're gonna, I usually wait to go to the spray paint, but we're gonna go to it a little bit sooner today. Test that out on the wall. There we go. We'll start with that. Let's get the white spray paint, shake it up a little bit, test it out on the wall. All right, let's go back to this red. We're just we're gonna start like this. We're gonna start with these two very iconic symbols that represent these icons. The, uh, the dollar sign by Warhol. And then the, uh, the, that happy face and crown inspired by Basquiat. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to start over here with some purple. I don't know the exact shade of the purple. But as I'm painting this, please ask your questions down below in the chat. Brandon, are you still on standby? Can, can they hear Brandon still? All right, yeah. So Brandon. Yes. All right, so you gave me this inspiration for this painting. Yes, sir. I, as soon as I heard, I was like, of course. And I'm also thinking to myself, why have I not done this before? Right. So. I kind of did too, actually. But when I was walking by, I saw that Warhol with your, uh, with that stuff over there behind. I, you're, you're, already, you're, you're on it. I mean, you know, I've, I've painted these two figures separately before. So I'm, I'm obviously familiar with their. Yeah. So this is likeness. the first time combining? But this is the first time I, I think I've combined them okay, great. in this particular style. I like that. Which, you know, everyone will see as it comes to life. we got to be unique, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to go back to this purple paint. I'm going to go in and block in the same similar face structure that we have over here. And block it in on this face over here. So a common question that I get asked a lot is, do I just wing it or do I have a plan in place? And it's a little of both. Mostly, uh, mostly winging it, but there's always, always, always some sort of preparation involved. And you know, not that I couldn't come up here and just draw, start drawing on here. I just, you know, it wouldn't be as fun to have to not have the flow, because the flow that I get from a little bit of preparation and then letting inspiration take place, there's something about that that feels, feels good, feels fun. Okay, so there's, uh, there's a comment that says Brandon so is on the radio. I'll explain, want me to explain that one? Brandon. Yeah. Have you ever been on the radio? Uh, no, but but I've been around a lot of radio personalities. Uh huh. And I've been told a hundred times I need to be on radio or, or so, something about my voice on radio. Yeah. So, 
So one of the viewers, whoever is listening, do, do, does my voice sound like it needs to be on radio? Wait, Listen. wait. Let's let me tell. Let me give you I some mean, context, yeah, also. And I want honesty, by the way. Look, I'll give you some honesty. Yeah. What did I tell you? You were sending me these text messages, and then like you started sending me these voice memos. Right. And I was like, bro. <laughs> first of all, don't ever text me again. You're only allowed to send me voice memo messages from this point on. <laughs> I know. I feel bad now when I text. I, I try to send a voice memo every time. <laughs> so Daniel, Daniel might be inspiring a new creative, or actually a new career direction for right. uh, Brandon. No, I can't do all that stuff. Okay, wait, 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 all right. Devil's advocate, Brandon. Too much attention. Can we go back and forth? Is uh. it, I haven't seen this. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, Brandon. So come back, come back over here to me. Yes. If you were to announce any particular sport or event, what would it be? Power to announce any sport or event. What yeah. Would it be? Any like, during any time. Yeah. Any. Oh, and you can choose the era as well. I would have to say a, a Michael Jordan uh, finals game or a Mike Tyson fight. I mean, I might just join you for that. Even though my I don't have that same that draw that voice, I might join you for that. That sounds fun. Yeah, Michael Jordan uh, finals game or a Mike Tyson fight. Okay. All right. Fair enough. There you go, guys. If you can bring back Michael Jordan. In the finals. We got Tyson back. And Tyson back. <laughs> which he's not too far gone. Uh, Brandon, Brandon might do some commentary for you. So All right. There you go. All right, so someone asked, who made my custom jacket? I actually just painted this one on my own. So I, uh, I just like to, you know, dabble around. Most of my jackets though are, are made by Samuel Parkinson, who is based in Sacramento. He does all my tour jackets and uh, super, super talented at what he does. What, what is that? Oh yeah, what did he say? Get ready for a rave. Let's do. Are we being raided? For a raid, let's do it. Tell him to stay away from my painting. <laughs> All right, so keep your comments, questions coming in the chat below. They will let me know what those are. They'll shout them out to me and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, in the meantime, thank you everyone for joining the live stream. Brought to you by a small glass of tequila, which I need to, I need to get a little resip soon. Want me to bring it to you? In a little bit. Okay. No, we're just, we're just, you know, we're just getting started. We're I'm here to serve, brother. Blocking this thing in. All right, so someone asked, what music do I listen to? And it can literally vary day by day um, from hip hop mostly to uh, classical Love and it. and uh, electronic. Uh, I have been known to, you know, I'll listen to a little country western if I'm in the mood for it. But I, I think, honestly, my, most of my stations are like chill music. My life is crazy enough that I don't need music to, to take me up higher. So a lot of my, um, stations and on Spotify are like, are usually trying to calm me down. A lot of, a lot of chill stations. Am I still on here? Yeah, so, so this is probably the, the sixth time uh, David will allow me to come in, will take the time and do a painting with me and allow me to watch it be created. So I want to say thank you to the man. No, I, I appreciate you being here. You know, we don't get a lot of time as much anymore, you know, from between our kids and Right. We got to do interviews and, and we got to do all this. So this is, this is nice. It's like, you know what? If I'm going to do this, let's, 
Let's maximize. Exactly. Our time. And maximize it, yeah. Okay, so someone asked, when did I start doing art? I mean, I started doing it as soon as I could probably hold a crayon. Um, on my Instagram, I shared this picture of a plate that I painted for my mom. And I did it when I was like, I, I think it was 1987. You'll have to go look at the Instagram post. But uh, I've just been creating an artist my whole life. But not professionally until I was 20 years old, which I was still consider young. And But when I was 20, I just went full on into uh, this hustle, you know, just, just finding out what works, what doesn't work. And there's so much fun in that process. Even looking back on it, as hard as it was, as much as it was a struggle. I was 20 years old. I had no money to my name. I just had a ton of passion, a ton of will, and I just ran with it. Their name is Brent. Brett. Brett. So shout out to Brett, who is go over here, five years old, watching this in the live stream. Shout out to you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. All right. So uh, we have a painting inventory here at the studio where we keep keep the paintings. We catalog them, and then if, actually, if you want to view the the catalog of the paintings, you can go to garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery and you'll see everything there. I've got um, paintings on there, everything from really as early as like maybe early 2000s to, uh, you know, tour when I was on tour with Kiss. Um, to paintings that I was doing on live streams during the pandemic. Okay, so my normal tequila choice right now, and it changes time to time, but in the studio right now, we're drinking Cazadores, but I, I'm, I'm a big fan of um, Don Julio 1942. Obviously. Yes, sir. Obviously. Uh, like it's always a good go-to. Good to have a go-to. I have to agree. That's Brandon's go-to for sure, as well. Um, I am enjoying Terramana as well. It's the brand that The Rock is behind, and I and I know that because I had to restock the other day. All right, it's coming to life. Let's brush off the brushes. Let's just start going lighter in the color. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, I'll, I'll check that out. Thanks for the suggestion, appreciate it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I listen to a lot of chill music. I don't know if that's weird or not. But I love classical. I, I just think because, again, my life is crazy enough right. that uh, calm, calm I, need, I need to tap into some something calm. that so Fernando uh, in the comments just said I should do an art life live in public 
And I think that the first step to that will probably be doing an Art Life live stream from here in the studio where we open up the studio for all of you to join. So that'll probably be the, the, um, the first time that we do that. So real quick, shout out to Abs uh, with all the emojis on Twitch. So I appreciate that love. Thank you for that. And really anyone else on Twitch, shout out to all of you. We rarely get viewers on there. So it's nice to have at least one or two on there. Um, let's see. But Fernando, I like that idea. Shout out to Twelves Wax on uh, Twitch as well. I like it. Keep those comments coming. Keep the questions coming. Appreciate the love. Okay, so someone just asked, do I ever paint on white canvas? And the answer is yes, but it's very, very rare if I do that. Um, it is, uh, there's just a different technique that I, I would use to do that. And uh, it just takes a little bit more time, so I'm not opposed to it. I just, it rarely happens that I paint on white canvas. Oh, now I know what uh, what Abs meant by the raid, because because Abs goes super hard on Twitch. So I appreciate the love, Abs. So I'm just putting in this a little bit of uh, rose color into the lips on um, Basquiat. I'm gonna blend that in with some of that skin tone as well, there we go. So I know no one's uh, asked for it yet, but I'm definitely going to, uh, definitely gotta come out with a print of this, just so that I could have a print, and um, I'll let anyone else who's into this get it as well. So the reason why I'm leaving the, uh, you can see that obviously it's uh, Andy Warhol and Basquiat. The reason why I'm leaving the Warhol portrait to dry is so that I can go back on it with a lot lighter colors and I don't want those to blend too much with what's already there. So I've got to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and, uh, and put those colors on. So in the meantime, we're going to keep working on the Basquiat portrait, dial in those colors, and then we'll keep building from there. We're gonna go tap into this white. Just mix it in. We're mixing the white in with the skin tone so it's not super white, but it's the lightest color on the highlights. So we hit the nose, hit the cheek. So no, we don't. So we don't have any prints available right now because I only do a super, super limited edition prints. And if you ever want to get a uh, notice about when those prints go available, you want to send me a text to uh, send anything to the text to 916-866-810. There's a number right there. So send me a text to that number. It'll actually add you to the pre-sale list. And because the prints sell out so fast that most of them sell out in pre-sale. So you'll want to go text me on that number, 916-866. 8101 and it'll just put you in the loop anytime we do uh, print releases. We usually come out with them once a week or once every other week. And we'll have a lot more coming up from the fall to the holidays as well. So once again, 916-866-8101 right there. All right, it's coming to life. Let's, uh, let's switch up these brushes and let's start building out Mr. Warhol. Okay, so uh, someone asked, am I performing live anywhere in Sacramento soon? And um, yes, but that's 
but I'll announce that soon. We'll, we'll, we'll share that soon. I believe so. So the person that asked, will the text number work if you're in the UK? It should work. Can you try right now and we'll let you and let me know if it doesn't work <laughs> so we can let everyone else know. All right, so now I'm going super bright, a lot lighter colors for the Einstein, or not the Einstein, I'm sorry, the Warhol. What's that? Oh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna get that in just a bit. I'm I need Brandon in here in the studio more often because Feeling the energy. Uh, Dee, would you mind, uh, just because I, I'll obviously heard of Warhol and, and Basquiat, would you mind explaining what the, 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 the significance of the dollar, the dollar sign and, and the smiley face in the crown? Is that? Yes. Okay. So, so yeah, I, I can explain the significance. So, actually, I'll go, I'll go even a step further. When I'm before I paint a portrait, I just I research the hell out of. A person. So in this event, it's Warhol. So I start looking at Warhol's art. I start looking at symbols that best represent him, whether he was there or not. So that's even the style of the font, not just any dollar sign, but but one that he created or was inspired by him. So you start not only looking at the portraits, but also the aesthetics that add up to who that person is. So the the dollar sign is just one of them. There's so many others. You'll see some other symbols that I'll do on this painting that yeah, represent yeah. Warhol and Basquiat, but um, you know, it's just, he's, there's so many layers to him. Sorry guys, I keep favoring my right side because it's a newer painting. And if you ever wanna know, it's a little secret, you'll only learn this on on uh, the live streams. But if you ever wanna know if I'm, if I'm new to a painting, is I keep favoring right side because I do have a little bit more control over there but you keep doing that until you feel free all right let's go so he has very 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 fair skin that's why I wanted those other colors to kind of just sit in the background we're gonna go white mix that with whatever's on the surface right now switch up to the other brush there we go Again, I'm trying to do as little amount of brush strokes as possible. I just want a lot of broad strokes on this. Still blending with all those colors that I put on there. You know, that's why I do love acrylics, is they dry so quick. Uh, I'm not opposed to trying any uh, acryl or oils in the future, but I just, I work quick, and so I like that acrylics dry so fast. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna switch up the brushes now. Before we add the eyes, actually, you know what? Let's let's not. Let's let's do the eyes, and then we'll start adding a little bit more movement to those faces. So we'll start with uh, light gray. Ah, uh, yes, thank you for the love on Twitch, appreciate it. I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to Abzo again because I, we never get any love on Twitch. I'm just, I'm just not on enough, but I obviously should be. So I appreciate the love, guys. So add a little bit more detail around the eye. 
of Warhol. I keep saying Einstein, but I think it's because of, he has very similar hair to Einstein, which you'll see in just a bit. All right, now that we've got the eyes in, we're gonna start adding some movement to these portraits to really be in line with this out of mind style. So let's start. So we're just gonna get very, very loose here. So a lot of these details you may not see till later on. Uh, we'll give you a closer look, but uh, we're just building this out. I'm imagining these faces kind of like floating together. Maybe they just came together. Let's go to that purple. You know, you put enough color in to indicate where the, the values that make up the portrait are. And then it gives you some freedom to do this stuff. You know, uh, different than, than most other Art Life live streams, I'm really taking my time with this. I really want this one to be special. Not that any other painting isn't special. But these are two of, I mean, my favorite artists. Those of you that ask me, who are my favorite artists? You're looking at them right here. All right, we got some of those colors. Let's go to Mr. Warhol. Start pulling those up. Those might get covered by his hair later on, but it's all good. All right, so someone asked, do I, is there a favorite color that I have that I paint with? So there's two colors that I love the most, and that is um, actually this color, which is, I believe it's called Spiced Potpourri. It's an undertone that I use for a lot of my uh, skin tones. And then there is this other spray paint color. It's basically like a, a magenta. It's a UV magenta color that I love. It just pops, pops so much. Just I'm gonna take that risk right there. Just going right through the face. It's like when I used to watch um, Bob Ross, I was gonna say Bob Saget, which I also used to watch on Full House. When I used to watch Bob Ross, and even still, he would like, he would do these trees that just went through the whole painting. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. He just painted this whole scene, and now he's drawing a, a painting that's just going right through it. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. So that's, that's what I'm, in, I'm embodying right now, just pulling those faces up having some fun with this. Let me read some of the comments. All right, so someone asked, uh, they never got back to me if the number worked uh, in the UK, so I guess we did. Brandon, you go right here. Cheers to you. Cheers, bro. Appreciate it, yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna sip it because if I took a shot, it would be a very different painting. Agreed. This might turn into a self-portrait, which is not as entertaining. <laughs> All right, I like this. I like it's this. Good, man. It's coming to life. You know, you gotta just trust the process and then you gotta adjust along the way. Okay, so shout out to Brazil, to, for, to the hellos on Brazil. Thanks for watching, hanging out with me today. All right, you know, I think it's time that we really work on the hair. The hair of both of these people have iconic hair. Maybe that's their part of their secret. 
you know, here I am shaving my head, and this whole time I should have been, I should have had iconic hair. If I had hair, guys, just, just thank me that I don't, because I would be so extra with my hair. I, I mean, I would have like, like art. I mean, it would be art on my head. Right. I, my, my hair would look like a Basquiat painting. Gel for the paint. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, you guys, you guys don't want that. I just, it would be distracting and annoying and it's like, oh my God, he's changing his hair again. So I just, I did you all a favor. I shaved my head and you're welcome. <laughs> well, I'm sick. All right, let's ditch that. We're gonna go right into Warhol's hair. Let's mix up, just mixing the colors. Let's go over here to this camera. Just show you, see if that picks up. I do this a lot, even in live shows, where I just mix the colors on the brushes. So I'm gonna get that dark gray first. Make sure that texture goes over. All the details I already did, so it shows that it's going over his face. We'll come back and put some of those colors that are going up, but right now, let's just go a little bit lighter now. He has this like iconic hair. All right, Brandon. Yes. You also have a bald head. Yes. By choice. By choice. Absolutely. You shave yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I have a receding hairline, so I like to keep it keep it sexy and clean. You know, well, it looks it looks very clean, very sexy. But if you had hair, okay, what would your hairstyle be like? I'll be real. If I if I had hair, I would, I would still do the same thing I do now. You still shave. You yes. still shave your head, yeah. no matter what. Cause so I have, cause I have before, and it, I, I just don't think it, it works for me. Okay. I think okay. I'm a bald, bald guy. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm with you, bro. Well, with me, well, right now you're with me, but if well, I again, I we're all and Bosco are doing a little something different, but I would be, I would be crazy. I'm sorry. I might have like dreads, like who knows? All right, I need some fresh brushes because I'm picking up too much of the last color, so we're gonna go fresh brush. All right, let's go to the center cam. Very true. That's right, hair does not matter in radio. <laughs> or painting. Or painting, until it does. Like, you know what, actually thinking about it, I would be I would have to wash my hair, or I wouldn't wash my hair. <laughs> Do you think Warhol and Basquiat's hair helped them paint? What was that? Do you think Warhol and uh, Basquiat's hair helped them paint? I don't think it helped them paint, but I think it helped them stand out from the crowd, okay. to be honest. All right. That's fair. Do you paint every day? Do I paint every day? Uh, I try to paint as often as I can. Don't, I mean, I do have two beautiful kids, I have a beautiful girlfriend, beautiful family. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't paint every day because I've got uh, a beautiful life, but um, I try to paint as often as I can, to say the least. But on any given week, yes, I, I'm pretty much painting every day. All right, let's get that those the rim of the glasses in, just a little bit of the highlight, like right there, just picking it up, and you know, let's pull. I'm just gonna move the paint that's already on the canvas to look like a reflection. Just like that. Just smearing it just a little bit. And then let's do this. Before we go any further, uh, I'm gonna double down on the silhouettes. We're gonna use the spray paint. I said it before, but I like using the spray paint because it, it's, this isn't gonna mix with anything below it. If I want a color to pop, I'm using spray paint to go on top of it and it's, it's gonna, it's just gonna pop, it's gonna stay on top. 
There wasn't really any scientific <laughs> explanation for that. But just to get a nice little glow, a little splatter. All right, so how often do I practice painting? Uh, well, I, I usually don't get time to just practice. I'm just painting. Right. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm in the game. I, I'm, I'm always in the game. I'm like that athlete that just never retires. You're like, there's no off season. I'm just in it. I, I have these friends that golf quite a bit and I would love to golf with them, but you know, I'm just not in that place yet where I can golf as much as I want to. I'm in the league still. It's the best way I can describe it. All right, let's do some highlights. On the Basquiat. Just a little bit. There we go. Now. And we're, we're not even, I don't even feel like we're halfway done yet, by the way. We're really just taking our time. You're probably over here. But we're not. <laughs> we'll go over here to this camera. Just taking our time with this. Real quick, just want to do a reset. You are watching, uh, we're calling it Paint Life Live now. I gotta change the, the logos. But thank you to everyone who's watching the live stream. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Twitch really stepped up today. Shout out to everyone on Twitch watching this. Oh man, so they, oh, yeah. so this person on Twitch saw me painting live on the clubs on Broadway in Sacramento. That's where I got my start, which was just like, I mean, I was, I was hustling back then. I had no idea what I was doing. But, um, you know, I started just painting live at local jazz clubs and nightclubs in Sacramento, California. Um, I don't have any scheduled for the UK right now. I don't have any live events yet, but I will definitely uh, share for sure when we, when we do. All right. Oh, I just got like a ton of paint pain in my mouth. Wipe that off. All right, let me read some of these comments real quick. And get a little sip of this beverage down here. Okay, so um, yeah, so Fernando said, yes, Einstein had a pretty wild hairdo. This is Warhol. Similar. Similar. And uh, yes, yeah, so let me, I gotta get the paint off the screen because it's hard to read these comments. Uh, hey, Jonathan, or Jonathan, I also love art. So thanks for asking that on YouTube. Uh, and so Jonathan also asked, do you ever accept a special painting request? So I do a lot of painting commissions throughout the year. Uh, we try, I try to fit them in in the schedule. Uh, but yeah, I don't do them all, but I, the ones that I'm into, I, I do enjoy. So anyone else that's, uh, having a, a beverage right now. Shout out to you. Mm. There we go. Let's keep going. All right. Now that we've got most of the portraits completed, I'm gonna start adding some, some objects in the center and around them to really start, I guess, adding more of a, a story to these. Let's go with this. Let's go with the... This part is not as exciting. Usually these parts in videos are sped up, but this is a live stream and you're watching this wherever you are in the world. Matter of fact, let me know uh, where you are watching this in the world so I can shout you out, your city, state, or country. So we're gonna add some of these figures in the center. This will all make sense in just a little bit once I add 
some more color and highlights. Uh, yes, yeah, so someone asked, will I be making prints of this available? Probably, for sure. So I put a number, I'll, I'll show the number in a little bit, but definitely uh, just keep following my social media and I'll share about it when or if I do. For right now though, let's just focus on enjoying the process. Let's just enjoy this. All right, so we're gonna shout out some cities right now. They're gonna share them with me. We got people from Sacramento. Shout out. Boston, Massachusetts. India, shout out to India. Australia. Germany. Canada. Man, we are literally global right now. We are global. United Kingdom, man. This is amazing. Mojave Desert. Wow. Welcome. Liverpool. Liverpool. It's a blessing. It's such a blessing, man, to just to be able to to just create. And here's the thing, like this is just you know what I do this because I enjoy it. Like I just I love sharing this process with you all. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to, to watch along. Actually, let's go back over here. Woodland, shout out to Woodland. Edmonton, Canada. So I'm just putting in uh, actually some some placeholders. This is a, a technique that I use uh, before I use some spray paint. So I'm gonna come in and I don't wanna miss those later on. So I'm just putting a placeholder there for now. But uh, let's start adding some of that spray paint. It's coming to life. So do I paint with a reference? Uh, I don't have a picture up but I definitely uh, studied and I prepared on the canvas of what I'm gonna do, but I'm not looking at a picture anywhere to be specific. Got that done. Let's go ahead and switch up to a blue. Thank you to Crosscut Artistry who made this, uh, the table for my studio, which I've shared uh, on my story, but go shout out to Crosscut Artistry. So someone asked, do I look forward to Kanye's next album? Absolutely. He's always proven to be an artist for the better or the worse. And uh, he's done nothing but make anthems 
for us to consume for uh, as long as he's existed. So um, I'm here for it. I'm definitely, definitely here for it. All right, so I'm gonna go back with uh, a black. Actually, my shoe is coming untied. Let's get that tied. All right, I'm gonna go back with a black before we start adding highlights to those objects. And still, we've got, got a lot more to go. So this black is what will help these stand out, all these objects. Even though there's a, a color mist happening here, I'm just going to add drop shadows to some of these. And also some detail to these figures, like this gentleman just floating around space up here. Maybe it's, you know, maybe he's just floating around in the space of their heads combined. Ray, isn't this amazing? Thank you guys, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, shout out to the guy that's uh, reading all the questions. That is Ray. Yeah. who is uh, here in the studio. He's, uh, I, we, I guess you'll be the producer, right? Yeah, Ray's the, the producer of the live stream, so. Ray, we should do like a Howard Stern thing while David paints. No? What, what was that? We should do like a Howard Stern thing while you paint. <laughs> well, you're just like commenting. Just and commenting and talking, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, well, keep it PG though, keep it PG. Clearly, yeah, yeah. you have a, a voice for, for this, so. No. So adding the black right now is making it pop, but it only makes it pop when you add other colors to it. So now, don't think about paint. Think about light sources. So I just put two light sources on here, the pink and the blue. Once I black out certain sections of the figure and I just start highlighting where that light is hitting the figure, that's when the pop happens. So this is, we'll call this pre-pop. This is pre -pop. These are all little details. So, you know, my, my background is really in, in animation and um, that's what I wanted to do early on. And so I, I think about things cinematically. I think about uh, real life scenarios of light sources. And, and so a lot of my early paintings of the jazz figures were, you know, they're, they're in these environments where they're you know, well lit or lit from different places. So those are sort of things that I pull inspiration from and also the techniques that it takes to do that. I'm just doing a very sped up, quick version of that. Uh, I would say a little bit of everything. So I do try to prepare as much as I can for these paintings, but Sometimes I just, I really do have like this really weird, crazy memory. And I, and I remember these, most of it from when I do paintings wrong, because I take notes afterwards. I'm like, that sucked. Don't do that again. All right, let's mix some of this white with this red. We're gonna get this pink. Let's add a little bit of a touch of yellow to this. Go back to the red. Actually, a little bit more red. So I'm using my wall as the palette um, because I, I, I think it's better than having a palette. I just leave the mess up here. All right. Let's... All right, so someone asked, what are different categories or subjects that I paint? And the things that I don't show you guys are, uh, I mean, I, I love it. I, I think one of my favorite things to paint that may be surprising is I love landscapes. I just don't want to put landscapes out in the world because then that's all people are going to ask me for. But I love painting uh, landscapes. I've done my fair share of um, animal portraits for people as well. And uh,
So right now, I'm basically using, I, I use the black to create a silhouette, and I'm adding paint that acts as the light around the figure. And that is when the, the black starts to pop, or it starts to help the image pop. So this is just, we're adding light, a light source just from the top first. Now I'll start adding the blue from the bottom. All right, so someone asked, uh, you know, when I paint landscapes, do I prefer to see a picture or to be in the location? And, you know, I haven't actually been out to a landscape to paint it. I'm usually painting it in studio, working off a photo. But my, uh, my, my dream when I retire is to actually go paint clouds. Just to go sit out on a dock somewhere or on a beach and just study cloud, cloud landscape, so. So right now I'm doing photos. In the future when I get time, I'll take my brushes and canvas out there to the world. Brandon, do you still have tequila available? Uh, I have a sip, yes. You have some? All right, well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Thanks for, thanks for being here today. How long are we into this live stream? Is anyone still watching? <laughs> All right, we're an hour and eight minutes into it. We're just taking our time. I just. Time. I'm just not rushing. I hope that's okay. You know, maybe some of you are just hopping on. You're like, this is this is taking time. I'm gonna leave. It's all good. We're just we're just hanging out today. Masterpieces take time. This is a special one. So Brandon has a couple of my paintings. Brandon, can you share with them while I'm painting this? Can you share with them? some pretty one pretty historic painting and another one that's historic to me we won't tell them why but it's one of my favorites well go ahead yeah i i would say this i'm gonna bring up well this isn't my favorite my favorite is the uh the the michael jordan so uh you know so i i asked d you know i said hey man you know i've always wanted a michael jordan i didn't want to bother him he's always you know he's so busy and he says, yeah, 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 I can do that for you. And it, it literally came out, I mean, I, I'm a Michael Jordan fanatic. Um, so, uh, every, I mean, his ear, his bald head, his uh, his lips, his nose, his, the shape of everything, it was perfect. Um, so but I do, that, I, but I, that I, Michael Jordan I it was do the know, first painting I did in my studio, my last studio. Yes, first painting. And it, yes. was, it was very loose. Yes, it was very loose, and we were here, we were here for five hours. Uh, the president of the NBA called David and asked him if he could buy it. And we won't talk about numbers, we won't talk about money, but we will talk about this, that, that David said, it doesn't matter how much money you have, I know the guy who has it will not sell it. David was right. So, it was, it, it was perfect. Um, my favorite is the, uh, is the Hugh Hefner. Um, uh, in 2009, uh, David did a painting at the mansion. Uh, the Playboy for, Mansion. At, at the Playboy Mansion, yeah. yes. Uh, for um, for charity, of course. Yes, thanks but for it was, and it was, uh, <laughs> clarifying that. I believe it was auctioned off for 25000 at the mansion. And um, uh, somehow, some way, it came up for sale uh, online, and I, uh, I got it, but it has... 
David's signature and, and Hughes' autograph but on it, and it was done at the This is before we met. This, this is, is what's special we about it. Is yes, we you got we that met. painting right before we knew each other. Right, right. And I still don't know how I got it because I, 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 I assume that's probably a pretty valuable piece. But um, yeah, I, that, that's the one that I just think because you know Hugh Hefner, and, you know, uh, he's passed away. He's moved on, so. That's a special piece, but yeah, the Michael Jordan and the Hugh Hefner, I would say, and also my and my daughter, my daughter's uh, Mickey Mouse. The daughter, your daughter's Mickey Mouse with the with the Paris uh, the yeah. Tower in it. Yes. And then and then we did the other one. The 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 lady in Paris. No. S sitting on the well, you did the you did the the Minnie Mouse. Yes. But you also did the lady in Paris, which was our futuristic version of Paris sitting looking at the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And my, da my daughter's oh, name man, is Paris, that's, that's by true. the way. Yeah. So you, yeah, you have quite a bit. Yeah. I'm losing track. She actually has more than more than I do, just so you know. I have <laughs> I have four and she has five. That's, that's, um... So my daughter has more than I do, but yeah. Yeah, yeah my, parents did, my <laughs> parents did not buy me art, I'll tell you that. But uh, you're definitely starting her off, her collection off, right? I, I, I'm okay with that, though. I'm okay with my daughter having more than me, so... Like, yeah, does your I think your daughter has more paintings than you. She does. Yeah. She has she has five of yours, <laughs> and I have four. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna keep going on this painting. We're still it's still coming to life. I've got this idea for this space over here, so we're just gonna keep keep it going. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use spray paint for this part. We're gonna use a handful of different colors for this. So Warhol was known for, for doing a pop art style that captured repetition. You know, at the time, you know, you would never consider, especially in the art world, you never consider things like products, things that were produced by machines to be considered art. And, you know, Warhol was like, well, why can't it be? And he challenged that. And, I think what was cool about it is it can still be debated today, whether it's art or whether it's not. That turquoise is bad. What was that? I love the turquoise. Okay, good, good. There's more coming. There's a lot more color. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't doubt it. Oh, there's I, a lot of color. I don't color. say a word. I just let you do your thing. It's, just, it's a good start, though. It's a good start. Oh, let's get a new one. Get a new uh, spray tip on this. those colors. Oh. I'm tapping into my, uh, my, my graffiti days when I was in middle school and high school. There's so, in Sacramento, there's particularly like super talented uh, graffiti artists and the people that I looked up to growing up, uh, they go by the name of Minus, M Y N A S. Also, another person, his name is Emer, and their style of letters was just like, just completely inspiring and just different. And 
very inspired by it. So shout out to those guys. Going through a lot of a lot of these spray tips today. Brandon, did you ever do any art growing up? Honestly, no. I mean, you know, I always loved the art of, uh, you know, like music. And, and I oh, never, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I it just, I never, uh, never got into, I have a few guitars I want to learn how to play, but I never Did you ever take art, le or did you ever take things. music lessons? Any what? Did you ever take music lessons? No, I didn't. No? Okay. My dad tried to get me into it. I heard peanut portrait. I did do a portrait of Einstein for my Out of Mind collection, which what I I believe was what was going on inside his head. You have to search. Actually, I just posted it recently on my Instagram. So if you go search there, you'll see what I'm talking about. Your mom put on Instagram the other day a uh, uh, a plate that you painted. How old were you when you did that? Oh, so yeah, so I, I posted the picture of the plate that I painted for my mom when I was oh, okay. I was it was 1987, I believe. Okay. You have to go on my Instagram to, to so you're see. You're like three. I was born in '82. Okay, so you're five. Yeah. So I was five, and I thought I brought that paint that plate home to my mom, and. What, the way that she reacted, and I, rec I, I like, for some reason recall this, remember, but the way that my mom reacted when I brought her home that plate, I thought that I had something. Yeah. That, that plate, believe That's it or not, started. my mom was the most, one of the most encouraging people in my life for my art. Still, still is. is. She's making all that jewelry and stuff. She's Absolutely still is, yeah. She's still hands on doing it. What's that? Dan's gonna love this. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this. I'm almost upset. I'm like, you know, I turned 42. Maybe I should give it to myself <laughs> my 40th. When's your 40th? <laughs> May, May the 4th. You May already the turned 40? May, May the 4th be with oh, you. Oh, yeah. Well, I know when your birthday is, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you already, you turned 40 this year. Yes, I just turned Okay, 40. so what did you do to celebrate? Uh, I, I got myself a timepiece. All right. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to bring a lot of folks together. I don't like. I don't want people bringing me gifts. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, the, the uh, pandemic starting up again. So. Okay. I just uh, laid low. Yeah, laid low with a little timepiece. Another day in paradise, right? I think that's cool. You know, I I like. I never really got into jewelry. Yeah. I had maybe a couple pieces, but I never really got into um, to watches or jewelry because. I just can't have anything nice. Everything I have just gets full of paint. Yeah, right. But yeah, I, I don't really. I mean, jewelry is hard. I mean, but I do love a, a watch. It's like a woman's purse for a man. Yes. You're talking about a watch. <laughs> yeah. Or a purse. What's my, what's my watch? Yeah. <laughs> I know what time it is. So Warhol was very colorful, obviously, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is... I mean, he was the definition of eccentric artist, you know. And also was Basquiat in his short life, you know. But I love it because all these colors are coming out of his head, so it's, yeah, significant as to what he, what he did. Even so, each one of these squares are gonna get a something in them. 
Ah, we're, 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 okay, this okay. is, we're taking yeah, our time. Started, baby. I told you we're taking our time today. <laughs> Let me get myself another glass of tea. Yeah, Ray is like, oh, I'm sorry, I need to leave Ray, soon. I'm sorry. Ray's like, uh, Brandon, here's how you use a switcher. <laughs> Ray, I'll be back in three months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're, you know, this is moving along. This is, we're, we're at a good pace. Yeah, man. Denny, Denny Dent started performance painting. Really, like, the, and I say there's other live painters, but Denny Dent had this very specific rock and roll presentation style. He was a rock star. Um, I hope any of you out there get a chance to Google him. He set such an inspiring bar that um, it's something I can only dream of meeting and exceeding. But it gives me a gauge of what to do. You know, Denny Dent and really a lot of other artists just, I look at it like, okay, this is what's possible. You know, that's why I think it's good to have sources of inspiration. Shout out to my, my friend Justin Bua also. You know, he's an artist who showed me What's possible? Like, what what can you do through art? And um, and I'm you know still inspired by by him as well. So, all right, let's let's add. Adding, using the black to add a drop shadow behind the Warhol head. We'll come back with a highlight, but for now, Beautiful day. just real subtle, just letting that just sit in the background. All that work again this is this is that Bob Ross reference you know watching Bob Ross do this whole beautiful landscape it's like ah oh, he's gonna go do a whole tree through it it's like yeah we spent some time on that and by the way as the paint dries the painting changes so right now there's some reflections on it where it's being pulled as it's dried and so on but we'll show you uh, the painting later as it dries uh, so Daniel said, great job, Ray. Great job. You're doing a great job. All right. We've got Basquiat over here. Got some ideas for this. Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's start with this color.
Bastiat like crowns. Yeah, so he he incorporated the crowns in his artwork quite a bit because he he dealt with a lot of like you know African American issues and uh, you know he used the crown as a symbol of like I think I believe still seeing yourself as a king. I see, right. No matter yeah, what yeah. you were going through and and right. you know what was happening around him, yeah. I feel like that symbol was very well justified and used. So. And it's, I mean, God, how you see a crown like this, it's, it's Basquiat. Right, okay. Right, once again, isn't this amazing? Sorry. Right, every time it's amazing. He's, right, and I'm not trying to boost him up because I'm on video. I'm no, saying, thank you guys. It's just, it's just uh, he's every time I'm like, how do you do that? And I think when you know, when you said to yourself, how do you? It's, it's amazing what people do, right? How do you sing that way? How do you paint that way? How do you shoot a basketball that way? What, you know, whatever your art is. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I just, I, I don't even have a straight answer for you. I, I don't. I can try to like bullshit my way through explaining how I do this. You're too modest and humble to have that conversation. But anyway. but I just but I just do it. You know, I think that so many people just hesitate when it comes to pursuing different things in your life and I didn't stop to ask questions of how do I do this in the beginning? Am I allowed to do this? You have to start by just empowering yourself to just start the process. You got to empower yourself to make mistakes. Which I make plenty of. I I, I agree with that, um, but some basketball players only make it to the to the A league. Um, you have God given talent too, so that's uh. Thank you, brother. It's amazing. I love the crowns. All right, thank you. Shout out to Norway. Agreed. For the love. What's their name? What was it? <laughs> All right, we'll say shout out to Norway. <laughs> shout out to Norway. Thanks for watching. And uh, just a quick reset. Just doing this live painting of Warhol and Basquiat. We got my friend Brandon Wells joining us right over there. Hello, hello. And on that note, Little cheers to you, sir. Cheers. Do you have any more tequila? Yes. Okay. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, thank you very much. Who is that? Uh, Mateo oh, Mateo. Shout out to Mateo Charles. Uh, also, a, a talented live painter, performance painter. All right, let's add some drop shadows to these crowns, and then we'll miss a little bit of a shadow. So does art run in the family? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my mom is a is a hairstylist, so we'll start there. My parents met dancing. And my dad also played in bands growing up as well. I didn't know that, really. Yeah, my what dad did, played what did he play? bass. What, what instrument? He played bass. He played bass, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and my brother actually uh, super talented at a bunch of different instruments. Oh, really? Also, Chase, Chase plays? Yeah. What does he play? His guitar, he, I think he played drums for a little bit. Wow. Uh, growing up, my parents put us in music, so I played the trumpet. He played the clarinet. Uh, we, yeah, we're. We, I guess you could say we are a very creative family. Yep. You know. All right. Let's add that drop shadow now behind the Basquiat. Just so that that those crowns 
fall into the background. You know, I, I used the example earlier when I was putting the black on these figures right here. The point of it is I start to think about these scenes, even though these are portraits, I start to think about light shining on them in the real world. And what would happen to these shapes? What kind of shadows would fall? Um, how does that affect the color? So I'm using very basic tools to do this, but that's just my thought process. So now that we've added the shadow, I still need these to pop. I still need the portraits to pop up off of the canvas. So I'm gonna go back to the white, and then we'll go with a white brush as well. Just to really, there we go, just little, Flicks. We're going to put more highlights in that hair as well. It's a little, little glow on his head. All right, let's go over here to Basquiat. Uh, welcome to everybody who is new joining us. We've been on this live stream now for an hour and a half. We've been doing this live stream for an hour and a half. Uh, if anyone is still with us from the beginning, God bless you. And um, man, <laughs> thanks for putting up with me for an hour and a half. But no, really, I, I really enjoy doing these. Like whether you stay or not, I just like, I like sharing this process, you know, with all of you. So, you know what this is missing? I should have you come just hang out for all these live streams. This is a cool yeah, I'll vibe. Be your uh, little, little, little voice in the background sidekick. Like one, right, right? one little splash. Actually, let's go with some more. get some of this brown, mix it in with some water. I always like to put a touch of a hand in a portrait. Just these little dots because these are things that a brush can't do. Whether it's the angles, whether it's the little, you know, cuts in the, in the portrait. I also imagine the collector that has this looks at this and finds something new every time. So even for my live shows, you'll see me doing these things at the end. You're like, God, just, just finish the painting. But these are, these are the little details that I want the collector to stare at. Even if you get this in the future as a print, you go back to it every single day and just find something new. So in Norway, it's, I guess, it's, I think it's gear, gear. All right, Daniel, uh, Daniel Prince, shout out to you watching this on Facebook. Anthony Cooper watching on Facebook, appreciate the love. Oh, so Patrick brought up, um, uh, you'd love to see a ZZ Top tribute. So I painted ZZ Top's portrait while I was on tour with Kiss. And I definitely need to uh, post that, but that would be a cool Art Life Live, or sorry, Paint Life live stream for the future. All right. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Let's get some black. Let's, 
like to use the black to throw at it so it cuts into some of the color. Let's get some more black. All right, guys, let's chat before I uh, finish this up. I feel like I'm getting near the end of it. Uh, let's do a real quick check-in before I finish this off. Let me go on this side of the painting. Um, just let me know what city, state, or country you're watching this from, whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope. We are uh, simulcasting this to all those platforms. I just want to do a quick shout out to some city, states, and countries. Let me know in the chat. In the meantime, I'm going to have a little sip of this. So as you can see, creating this painting inspired by Andy Warhol and Basquiat, two uh, artists who I've always looked up to. As soon as I started learning about art, I looked to them as, you know, the, some of the most popular, but also, you know, they transcended the arts to pop culture. And I think it's, you know, pretty obvious, but what I, I try to do the same thing by bringing and using performance painting as a, a, a gateway to bring art to people all over the world. So um, let's do some shout outs real quick to some city, states, and countries. So I see, uh, let's see, is it Angela? Angela Lyons in Sacramento. Angela Lyons is one of my collectors. Thank you, Angela. Anthony Cooper in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, let's see, Diana in Stockton, California. Daniel Prince in, uh, Tullahoma, Tennessee, Tullahoma, Tennessee. All right, where else are you guys from? Anything on Instagram? Richmond, Virginia on Instagram. Canada. Turkey. That's it, all right. All right, Joe Lee Lozano, welcome. Yay area in the house, yes. All right, and Patrick Slaughter in Boise, Idaho. Welcome. All right, let me have one last sip and then we're gonna finish off this painting with a handprint. I think, I think that'll bring it to a close. There we go. Let's see what color. I don't want something that's gonna take away from them but just add to. So I'm gonna go with a dark green. I'll come over here. So you guys, here we go. One last paint splatter. All right, so I'll go over here. So uh, as always, again, take one last look at this portrait. Uh, take one last look and then we'll chat for a little bit before I get off. But again, thank you guys all so, so much for watching today's live stream. And don't go anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna chat for a little bit. So, but take one last look at the Basquiat and Warhol portraits. I'm gonna zoom in on this just a little bit. This is the finished product. This is it, sir. Do you want to go close? Oh, I'm going close. Let's get right there. Take one last look at the Warhol and Basquiat portrait. Never before done. This is the first time I've ever done it. I may do some touch-ups later on, but for now, this is definitely going to be a classic. Let me know in the chat, should we do a print of this? 
I think yes. What do you think? Should we do I'm a print? I'm gonna say yes for everybody. All right. I, I think we should do a print. So everybody, for please sure. say yes. Just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just washing my hands right now. All right. Real quick, take one last look. But also, if you can hear me right now, do me a huge favor. If you watch any second of this live stream, please do me a favor and subscribe, follow, and most importantly, share these live streams or these videos. Uh, if you can do me a favor and go on my most recent post on Instagram and just say, I watched your live stream, just show some love on that most recent post, I would greatly appreciate it. So um, take a look and we're gonna head back to the chair and chat before we wrap this up. Thank you, Brandon, for the inspiration for this painting. I'm gonna grab my tequila and- It is beautiful. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I, I can't wait for you to just walk up to it and see it. But let's sit down and let's chat. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, everyone, again, for watching this live stream. We're not going anywhere. We've been on here already for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. What's another 10, 15 to just hang out and talk? And so. Uh, while we do that, just take one last look at the Warhol and Basquiat portrait right there. I started with the dollar sign and that, that happy face that uh, Basquiat was known for doing and then obviously with that iconic crown. We've got the dollar signs on the left on the outside of Warhol in that you know multiple uh, image fashion that he created and then also the, the crowns on the side of the Basquiat as well. And in the center, just some objects and some things floating around inspired by those two minds coming together. So, Brandon, thank you, brother. So, here with my friend Brandon. So you were, you were talking about some paintings that you've collected from me in the past. And I would say most, you know, one of them at least you got before we had met. Two, yeah. Yeah, and then we had met. They're both Hugh Hefners. That's right, they're the, the Hugh Hefners. Yeah, you only did three. You have two? I have two of them. Oh my god. Yeah. That's right. You know what? The other guy who has the other one keeps emailing me for a certificate of authenticity. Oh <laughs> really? I'm not I don't know if I've sent it to him yet. <laughs> but if you're watching this, uh, I'm sorry and we'll get you the we'll get it to you as soon as possible. COA. Real quick, uh, quick shout out to Deanna Meyerson. Hope you are well. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out on the live stream, Deanna. Uh, so Anthony Cooper says yes. Diana Flores says yes. Deanna Myerson, yes, for this being Prince. Oh, yeah. Uh, Daniel Prince said yes. Let's see who else uh, wants this. Oh, so Fernando Valdez says, what's my Instagram name? It's at Garibaldi Arts. Do you guys like this new setup? We, I like I, so I, I'll, I'll let you know that we set this up for a podcast because at some point when I get some time, we're going to start doing podcasts, but we're just kind of breaking it in right now for hanging out with friends. I think it's amazing. It's uh, the vibe is everywhere. Here we gotta put this near you. Put that, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, so the the, vi the vibe is everywhere. So, thank you, you know. Man. Thank you, man. All right. Uh, so Daria Macias on Facebook said, "I enjoyed your painting today." Can we start putting some comments on the screen? So Ray is gonna put some of these. Let's put that one on first. So uh, Daria, I enjoyed the painting today. Appreciate that love. Thank you, Daria, for watching this on Facebook. Uh, also, Car Carolina Cuevas said yes. On, you're watching this on YouTube, so that's a yes for this painting being a print. So Definitely right. should be a print. All Let's right, so Deanna Myers has said love the setup. Deanna has, has been here in the studio. She's watched live stream. She's seen it all, so I'm glad that uh, Deanna likes the setup, love the setup, appreciate it. And uh, so Deanna says, asks, what brand tequila are you drinking? This is Cazadores. I am not sponsored. This is not an ad. Cheers. Cheers. I know it's not Don Julio 1942. Well, that's your favorite drink. That's your oh. favorite drink too, though. So but I am enjoying this. But I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, it's clear too. So Anthony Cooper said, much better live, but still awesome. All right, appreciate that. Let me go on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, don't go anywhere. I'm going to come say uh, hello to you. Uh, were you going to ask something? 
thought you were going to ask something. Uh, it's all right. I forgot. So uh, I've, I've been sharing about this whole, during this whole live stream, this was your inspiration. This is a gift. And this person knows about it? Yeah, he's watching. Oh, he's yeah. watching. <laughs> he's calm. He's dancing. I was going to say, if he didn't know, he probably knows yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows now. Yes. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's uh, absolutely amazing. I love this piece because it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's colorful. It is very colorful. I mean, I, I respect the two Let's artists, of course. Let's go back to it real quick. Um, yeah, there so, we go. So, those of you, uh, just maybe you're just hopping on right now. I just did this over the past hour and a half. Uh, this Warhol and Basquiat portrait combo. You know what? Once everyone leaves, though, I'll probably still do some touch-ups. Oh, okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. But that's okay. You, know, you always do something after. I'll do some touch-ups. Uh, Qua Qua Neil three said cheers. Yeah. Uh, Horror film therapy said watch the live. I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate you guys doing that. So we're gonna sign off soon. Uh, Brandon, appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. We'll, we'll hang out after you. this as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, All right. Those of you watching right now, wherever you are in the world, we'll go back to this camera right here. Uh, wherever you are in the world, earlier we heard uh, Saudi Arabia, we heard India, UK, Australia, all over North America. I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I know that you have so many other things that can pull your attention away. So any seconds that you spent on me creating this Warhol Basquiat portrait. I appreciate it. And definitely next week we'll be back with, with another live stream. So uh, we usually go on about around the 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time range. Uh, let me see if there's any other comments coming in. Yeah, I hope you guys all have a beautiful, amazing weekend. Happy Friday. Please stay safe and uh, enjoy creating wherever you are this weekend. All right, take one last look at that painting we did today. Hit those hearts. Hit those hearts. If you're on Instagram, hit those hearts. There we go. Shout out to Matera Charles. Thanks for hopping on. Appreciate it.